Yeah, at tea time yesterday, we were talking a little bit about appropriate attention and inappropriate attention, wise attention, unwise attention uh, to what is going on in the external world, the internal world, and how to attend uh, to what's happening in a way that doesn't produce suffering and that produces wholesome states of mind. And I'm reflecting on that a little bit uh, here uh, with some things that were happening yesterday. And I had my, of course, my morning plans all set out for me about what I was going to accomplish and what I was going to, the tasks I was going to engage in, and, uh, you know, on some administrative needs lines, getting Ajahn Sake's California ID set up, having to go online and negotiate all of that. Uh, and, um, you know, the, the realm of samsara in this uh, modern age, it's all, you know, it's all got the same flavors of dukkha, but different flavors of how, how it manifests. And, you know, right now the uh, community, uh, at least at the administrative levels, is dealing with uh, password, computer password issues, because the, uh, the uh, password vault, uh, the, the master password program that we used last pass was, had some serious breaches. So we're basically having to switch over all of the, the major uh, passwords to a whole different kind of uh, password manager, uh, which, yeah, it's complicated enough uh, as it is, and just dealing with all the glitches and problems that one encounters in technology and uh, computer management and websites and, you know, uh, inconvenient uh, uh, things that are happening with uh, not being able to get through and all the glitches that, that come up. So working with that and getting things transferred over and then, you know, this, this air of protection that we, you know, try and gauge ourselves into is, you know, with all these kinds of complicated uh, ways that we deal with uh, information these days so that we don't allow ourselves to get vulnerable and get hacked and all that stuff. So all that's happening. Uh, at the same time, business is still needing to get done and interaction with all of these uh, complicated variables and pulling together this information and getting it online for Ajahn Sake, who isn't here, and finding all the data that they require to get an ID here, like his height and weight <laughs> without him here. And searching through records to see if I can find a copy of some physical exam reports that had that. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of endless kind of a thing. So anyway, <clears throat> doing those two kinds of tasks and and uh, <clears throat> the passwords that uh, I had to create for uh, the two major uh, sites that uh, I need master passwords for have to be so complicated and long, and uh, you, know, you can't just put a, a simple word down anymore. Uh, so creating complicated passwords, and then I thought, well, I need to uh, print these out and make them small on a small card and laminate them and carry them in my pocket so that if I forget, I have a handy reference. And doing that and then putting it into the machine to laminate it, we've got this lamination machine. <clears throat> and uh, sending it through and realizing that I, I did it wrong and it got all completely jammed <laughs> in the process and having to kind of drop everything else and you know, attend to broken office equipment. So, you know, it goes on, doesn't it? And everything, you know, dukkha 500 years ago was more along the lines of getting the basic necessities and, you know, dealing with all kinds of terrible illnesses and things like that. And the dukkha of the present, uh, more technologically, systematic, systemically involved with uh, these kinds of uh, high-tech kinds of things, but it's all, <clears throat> it's all unsatisfactory, essentially. And this, the reaction uh, is the same, you know, the tendency for un in unpleasant situations is to try and um, avoid them, uh, get rid of them, annihilate them, uh, aversion arises. And we're just adding more, we're compounding our, our suffering or our dissatisfaction by allowing the mind to go into those states. So it was a great opportunity yesterday to 
be willing to just set aside all my plans, all my thoughts of what I was going to get done in the morning, uh, and uh, deal with, uh, see if I could unjam the, uh, the laminator. And, uh, and actually it ended up turning out to be a, a fairly uh, pleasant process because I decided not to get uh, annoyed by it. It's just a machine. It's, machines break down and uh, was taking it apart and Tanjoti Manto jumped in to help out so there was a pleasant uh, aspect of somebody offering help and, and uh, you know, wasn't unpleasant and the people that were around were, you know, congenial and easy to be with and so, uh, you know, reshifting my gears that morning uh, ended up not being an unpleasant experience. In fact, looking back at it, it was actually quite pleasant. And then in the afternoon, I had planned to go up to my kuti, but all the things I didn't get done in the morning still needed to be done yesterday. So I pretty much spent most of the afternoon in the office finishing all these other things up. But still, it was okay. I didn't, you know, I, I just really made a determination to, to just be with it uh, and not, not get annoyed, which is something that I could easily have, have done. Um, uh, but for once, <laughs> this isn't something that's a, a regular occurrence, but uh, for once I was able to just accept what, the way it was and how much easier the whole afternoon went, how much more pleasant a few people coming and going and having pleasant interactions with them. It's not a bad way to spend an afternoon, really. Um, got my tasks done that I needed to do and uh, enjoyed that process of just uh, uh, letting go and enjoying with what is uh, with, with what is good, putting my attention on the, uh, the pleasanter aspects of it rather than the, the difficulties. And so just trying to remember, all of us trying to remember throughout the day, <clears throat> just attuning to what, what is it that's happening that's, that's good, that's wholesome, that's enjoyable, uh, that's supportive of peaceful states of mind rather than dwelling in what's wrong. We're so program to look for what's wrong and try and fix it. But uh, how often do we look for what's right and just sit back and enjoy that? It's like even this morning, I was just watching people come in and get ready for this meeting. Uh, uh, the group of four guests were getting out mats and handing them to each other and saying, no, no, you sit here and come over here and trying to make it right for each other. It was just a, a, a very simple kind of gesture of kindness and uh, sensitivity uh, to other people, being helpful, um, doing something that felt good, and, and uh, it, you know, it's contagious. It made me feel, watch, just watching it made me feel quite happy. So, wise attention, yoniso manasikara, we can choose what we attend to. It doesn't mean everything's going to always be just fine and, and sweet and wonderful. Uh, there's going to be the unpleasant, there's going to be the pleasant. But how we look at it, how we hold it, uh, how we respond to it internally, that's up to us. Uh, and that's uh, one of the major parts of this practice, uh, particularly in community, is how to be diligent and be uh, focused on that uh, wise attention, looking for aspects of an experience that are supportive of uh, wholesome, peaceful, uh, kind, uh, open states of mind. So that's a practice that we can determine to do as we go throughout our day. Good morning reflection.